XRP holders do this ASAP. Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. So, Bitcoin was able to finish with third week in a row with a green candle. It was a very, very interesting Sunday. Well, it's not over just yet, but UTC time, right? So the, the weekly candle is over. We're, we're on Monday already uh, on the candles. And it was a wild day. The altcoins were down big. XRP was down big around, I think it was around 10% down at one point of the day. It was able to make a very nice comeback with the rest of the market. Now we're in this interesting situation with the market. Does Bitcoin break 99, 100,000? Uh, XRP was able to successfully hold $1 uh, with even with the, you know, the pullback. So that was a very good accomplishment. And we'll talk about what we need to be doing as soon as possible because we're, we're getting closer and closer and closer. Uh, and the, the smell is in the air already. All, right? all I ask from you is that you give me a beautiful smile to send out those good, good vibes. Smishity smash that like button. Let's try to get... 2,000 likes on this video. I know you guys can do it. Do it. Listen, I've been talking with the scientists and they told me that there's a straight correlation between the amount of likes that XRP videos get and the price of XRP. So if you want XRP to go up, that's what the scientists said. I'm just saying, right? Wink, wink. <laughs> there's no straight correlation, but likes are for free and it will help XRP get out to the masses. So it's very beneficial. So currently XRP is at $1 and four cents um 40 cents sorry not four cents <laughs> four cents we'd be very close to, to that one dollar range right 40 cents there was a big swing here uh intraday uh for xrp uh we saw the low at 127 with the high at uh 145 so basically a 14 percent swing in nine hours and a half the last hour or two or so, there has been a pullback into the, the end of the weekly candle, but Bitcoin also pulled back after, um, you know, having this double bottom and then rallying as well, um, about 2.7%. So you see how how much Bitcoin is still dominating when it goes up 2.7% and XRP uh, went up, uh, what, would, what would we say there? 14.5%. So you see the volatility and, you know, just reminds us about the, the current situation. And, you know, there, there were a lot of runners today. It was a very interesting day. We had mana and sand, uh, sand that were running big. I did get a nice position on mana. I didn't get the whole position on it, but I got another nice position on it. Uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of opportunities in this market. Even, you know, if you, if you don't get in an exact bottom, there's a lot of opportunities here. Some have been good today. Some have been bad. It's been, it's been a tricky day. Sundays are always tricky. Uh, I always say that, but, uh, it's been a very interesting, a very interesting day here. Um, uh, to say the least, I was looking at this one cause it started running. And last night I saw Dot that ran right after GMT time, but today it's not doing so great. Um, you see, it had that run up last night. So it's it's an interesting situation. Um, what's happening now? And we'll see how this plays out. Again, sometimes Sunday it looks good and then it looks bad, or it looks good bad and then it looks good. Uh, so very tricky day, and we'll see what tomorrow brings to us. Uh, we did see the fear come up a little bit. So it's at 82. Um, it was 80, now it's 82, uh, and we'll see what Bitcoin does. Does it do another movement here Monday morning into the uh, 100,000? Does it test it, uh, or do we see a little bit of a pullback? Uh, you know, we're still in Bitcoin season, so we're not getting, we're not at altcoin season just yet. Um, you know, we're, we're closer to, to Bitcoin season, and we can see that on the dominance, so close to 60, although it did come down under 60. Uh, you know, it touched 60 and then came back down, but still, um, you know, we're, we're in a Bitcoin dominant market. The opportunities are, are just starting, right? It's just, it's just starting to smell <laughs> a good smell, right? Um, but it's going to be very interesting. Now, you know, we have Thanksgiving uh, weekend coming up upon us 
And I think there's going to be a situation where a lot of people are going to be going home to their families, talking about crypto, maybe talking about XRP. <laughs> and then we could see uh, next week a lot of new people coming into the market after, you know, their cousin or their uncle or their dad talk to them or their son talk to them about crypto and about XRP. Uh, and so we could see a, a new blood coming into the market uh, as soon as next week. So that's going to be very interesting uh, to see, you know, what happens uh, with that, right? Like I said, there's some green, some red here. Sand and Mana were doing good, but you know, Doth, for example, that was running yesterday, down today. So it's like it's uh, you know, there's a saying in Arabic, "Yom asal, yom basal." You know, one day onion, one day honey. And so this is what we're seeing kind of in the crypto market right now. And some are having very good days, and suddenly they disappear. Right. And so it's it's a very interesting situation. Uh, we did have big liquidations, of course. Uh, you know, and it's kind of a mixed bag. You can see uh, sand on the on the one hour had a big liquidation on the shorts, uh, but everything else and Ethereum, but a lot of green also. So it's a mixed bag. And if you go four hour, it's a lot of shorts that got squeezed, but 12 hours, it's a lot of green, right? So again, it's it said Sunday is usually a very confusing day. Uh, it's hard to pinpoint exactly what's going on and what's happening. Uh, but it, it will be very interesting to see, you know, how this plays out. And I just saw, I, I just opened a, again, this is not financial advice, always do your own due diligence. Near, right? It's up. I open a position again. Uh, you guys can see. I'll just, I'll just I don't want to show you because I, I have some that here. Uh, it's up 57%. So I just bought it at uh, 7.1. Maybe by the time you see this, it's going down. Maybe it's going there. But this is something to just watch in the next coming days. I noticed that the ones that are moving on the GMT time, they have a tendency to go up big. I have a stop loss here. I don't know how much, you know, maybe it's stop losses on it. It just, it's just an observation that I've had. Uh, not financial advice, of course. This is something that I just seen in the past few days. Uh, a few days ago it was XRP and Cardano. Last year, then it was a dot. Uh, today, uh, now it's near. So we'll see. We'll see if this is a phenomenon that's happening every single day, or is this just something that weird that's going on? Um, again, it's by the time you see this, it's probably past, but just watch it for the next few days. It, we're going to watch it and we'll see. Uh, and, and maybe this could be a, you know, a, a profitable opportunity. Uh, if you're interested in uh, using leverage, our partner Margex will give the opportunity to do so. Uh, there's no KYC, uh, but it's not available in all countries. So check it out in the description down below. You can go long, you can go short, whatever your heart desires. You'll get some bonuses if you use my special link. So check it out in the description down below. Uh, but please, please, please trade responsibly because you can make a lot of money and you can lose a lot of money as well. I have too many positions open right now. Uh, and uh, two out of the, I have seven, two, mm, three out of the seven are in the red uh, and four out of the seven are in the green, but the four that are in the green are very green, right? So you can make a lot of money, but you can lose a lot of money. I cut off the losers and I let the winners run. Uh, and that's how, that's how I've been doing it lately. Uh, and it's been ve being very successful. But again, not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. You can make a lot of money with leverage, but you can also lose a lot of money as well. So please, 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 please trade responsibly. Others just broke the trend line. Altcoins are about to go vertical, right? So others, it's without Bitcoin, just went broke the trend line this is very very important and um you know we're talking about the out move we just saw wasn't a pump it was money moving in early preparing for the pump the pump is coming put in a diaper and don't leave your computer <laughs> um that's you know i, I have the uh, prerogative uh, that i can be on my computer uh and not quote unquote work right a, a very big period of the day um so i can see movements like this um, and so not everybody can, and I understand that. Uh, and, and I don't want, you know, someone asked me, well, you're going to start maybe a telegram or a group or something like that. I tried that before. It's not for me just because, uh, crypto, first of all, is 24 seven. I can't, I can't do it. Uh, and, <laughs> and most of the, my awake day, I'm actually around my kids and with my kids. And I just, I'd rather currently, I'd rather focus on my trading and focus on them. Uh, and, and, you know, but other people do it and it's fine. It's great. Uh, you know, I might be leaving a lot of money on the table, but um, if, if I get to spend more time with my kids, it's worth, it's worth more to me. Right. Um, so I'm a, I'm a family man. Right. <laughs> um, so it, 
you know, we see, <laughs> we saw this, and we'll get to what we need to do ASAP in just a second. But I saw this tweet, and it's, of course, it's a parody. But, um, you know, we had um, Jim Cramer coming out and saying, uh, you know, Bitcoin uh, is a good buy. And then we saw Bitcoin dropping from from 100,000, well, close to 100,000. So people are joking, oh, dear God, I hope he's bluffing. And he's like, hey, Ripple, send me 1 billion XRP or I'll tweet that uh, it has a fright future and it here is here to stay check and mate of course this is not real it's it's fake uh, but we're, we're in an interesting situation and what we need to do asap is get every all of our um all of our ducks in order what do i mean by that i don't know what the the next month or so or few months are going to uh give us what i do know is historically the year after having has always been where the magic happens and if you're not ready, if you're not, you know, um, learning right now, you still could have time, right? You have, let's say, a month and a half, two months potentially here to learn what's going on, learn the markets, analyze things, make decisions, have a trading plan, um, do research on, on new projects that are coming up, right? It, it now, now is the time to do this before things get too crazy, right? Things are crazy-ish. Right. And so now we have to start get ready for ready for the possibilities that things are going to get very, very crazy. And if we're not ready and we're all over the place and we're too, you know, we have, I don't know, 30 positions or 50 positions. Right. Again, this is not financial advice. This is just what I'm, I do. I don't like too many positions right now where I have seven open trades. It's not good. I, I I don't like what I just did there. Um, I try. I was trying to catch opportunities. So I open up and the last two trades that I open up have been very successful and the one that I opened up this morning were not good right so it, so I'm, I'm waiting to see if that one from the morning is going to start moving so far I think I'm going to have to take an L on it um, but when I have this is more day trading right but when I have 30 long positions and this is the kind of thing that I don't like doing uh, in stocks as well in general, because if I'm also stocks and also crypto, it's too much. Uh, and, I, and I'm and i trying to read about the companies and read their earnings reports and trying to figure out what, they're, what they do and where their uh, potential income in the future is coming. And if I have 30 companies, you can't do it. If you have 30 cryptos, you can't do it. You can't be on top of everything, right? Um, so, you know, I try to do it as, as um, dense as I can. 10, 15 is like, it's already on the upper upper border like that's already i start i start bringing it down um and so again this is just me because i don't have the capacity if you think you have the capacity to do that and to, to read and i just i don't have the time because like i said i spend a lot of time with my kids during the day uh, you know i saw there's uh, someone that i saw he's a single uh, he has no kids and he did like eight videos today <laughs> But three videos for me and I'm like with my tongue, you know, hanging out. <laughs> so it's all about how much each of, uh, of us can do. And so it's all about your risk, your reward, how much you can, you, you know, how much you can put in into it. Now's the time to sit down, figure it out, write down. What are your goals? What are your, what are you trying to get out of this next year? And, and start, you know, putting the pedal to the metal because now is the time, right? And we need to do this as soon as possible because you know, the weeks go by, like November has gone by really fast. And so it's it's going to be very interesting and uh, we'll see how it plays out. Of course, not financial advice and you should always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. Don't forget to check out the links in the description down below and subscribe to the channel for more XRP daily updates. Did we get to 2000 likes? Yes, no, maybe we can get there. I know we can do it. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, Let's make a lot of money.